all black women don't feel that way. It's like a lot of us are afraid to to go to that level because we don't know if we can take you seriously because we don't know if you would take us seriously and value us because you've been taught to devalue us. Yeah, you know, the thing that I, that I found pretty quickly, because I'm fairly sensitive and intuitive myself, and the thing that I found was how quickly um, – they were, they were able to get into their heart chakras. You know, it was like, yeah. I was like, it was like, wow, you just got there really fast. I did, you know, there wasn't a lot of, um, you know, ritual or engagement. You just went there. And to me, that was really refreshing. There was a lack of fear there that I found, like, I, I just didn't find in, 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 you know, in other places and spaces. <clears throat> so, yeah. Those particular women that were so their heart chakra was loving and they didn't have a lot of blocks because of pain or any racial issues. So yes, you're very lucky. Yeah. So let's, uh, I think somebody wants to, wants to talk here, but before I start taking some calls, why don't you tell us about the summer of Dick and what that's about and, and how you see that unfolding uh, in your life? I'm very excited about it because it, it's celebrating the, the phallus and the beauty of a man and the God consciousness of a man and waking up and resurrecting the God consciousness of a man, helping men to love, honor, and respect their bodies and not be promiscuous or devalue or humiliate a woman that gives her body to you and realize the responsibility of um, resurrecting the God is in her by coming to her elevated as a God. So coming to heal her and wake her up and being each other's mirror so she can also wake you up and bring out only greatness in each other because that bounces back whether it's positive or negative energy, teaching them the spiritual aspect of their sexual anatomy and how to tap it to and activate that to manifest through sex magic by yourself and with the sex partner dealing with the consciousness of sperm and sperm power. Uh, we're going to be, I'll have sex toys too, so for couples, a lot of women that might have dealt with uh, men that have large penises or might have stretched vaginas that don't have a lot of elasticity in them, teaching them techniques and using devices to help to strengthen the walls and learn to control their bodies for the women that might be in love with a man that has a larger than normal penis, 12, 11, 12, 13, and teaching her how to condition and prepare her body through diet, through exercise and vaginal training, as well as teaching the man how to prepare himself and help the woman to prepare herself to receive him and different sexual lubricants and um, and, and toys and all of that wonderful stuff that deals with spirituality and sexuality. So do you have some events that are, that are going to be uh, focused around this? Do you have workshops, seminars? Where is this happening? It's going to happen in New York City. We're working on getting the, the venue um Set right now, but it's definitely going to be the weekend of July 10th, 2010. So we're going to have the Penis Power Lecture in the evening, and then we're going to have the Penis Power Party, and we're going to party all night. Party all night with Penis Power. By the way, you have a lovely voice. I've seen you sing a couple of times on your videos. and uh, I'm practicing now, thank you, because people keep asking me, when are you going to sing? When are you going to sing? So I have to get more secure. And, and take some uh, singing lessons to get my voice back in shape because I'd, I'd love to share that uh, with my audience. And, and when people come to my events like they did uh, in April, they'll realize it's not just the lectures because I like church. I, I love the old, even though I don't go now, um, I love the old Southern church feel. So when, when they come, it's really a spiritual experience and to, to come to the lecture. It's not just sitting there and educational. Now, I'm not going to be as wild and crazy as I am on my YouTube because I'm educating. Right. The other side of me. But they surely won't um, regret that they came. So, oh, also, I got a cruise that's coming up in September. I'll be going to hedonism. So, we'll be in Jamaica for like five days. I'm going to do the video soon so I can give out the special code if they want to. Uh, sign up for the cruise, they can say that, you know, they heard it from me and they can use my code. So I'm really excited about that, too. That sounds awesome. So what, you don't have a website now, though, do you? I mean, that kind of got hacked or something? 
Oh, God, yeah, again. So if people want to contact me about coming to the uh, Summer of the Dick, uh, Penis Power Part 1, Resurrection of the God, for July 10th weekend, they can email me at alexiskaytylervp at gmail.com. Or just any question they have, if they want to talk to me about intuitive reading, intuitive life coaching, alexiskaytylervp at gmail.com, as well as my YouTube page. You know, they can watch my videos there and hit my inbox. I always respond to everybody that leaves a message for me, and I answer my own mail still. Yeah, the the, uh, the YouTube videos are fantastic. They uh, they show many different sides of you, and uh, I highly recommend that people uh, re- uh, go there and check them out. So I'm going to give out the phone number right now. It's 347-308-8995, 347-308-8995 if you want to hit Alexis, with a question or make a comment, um, that'd be great. I will not suffer fools or assholes. If you are vulgar or rude, I will dump you in a New York minute, a New York second, actually. Uh, not allowable tonight, so uh, be forewarned. So let's see. we got somebody waiting online here. Let's see what they're about. If we don't like them, we're going to cut them loose. And uh, if we like them, we'll talk to them, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah, hi, you're on Free Association Radio. Who's this? Hello? 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 Okay. See you later. See you later. So sometimes we get these, uh, we get these, uh, uh, they're 111 numbers, which are, um, they're Skype numbers. A couple weeks ago, so let me give you, let me give you a little, uh, uh, sort of a background on, on my show. Um, I wound up a couple of weeks ago. Get, well, I've had a few shows that have been totally hacked. Um, okay. And I've got some controversial guests. And there's been huge amounts of white noise, uh, dropouts when they've had really important things to say. And about about a month ago, I, ha- I was just sort of besieged by a slew of um, uh, crank callers. And, um, you know, I really felt like there was, you know, kind of a, a kind of a malicious agenda going on there. And as a result of that, I'm just not taking a lot of calls from um, Skype callers, although, you know, I'll answer them, but I won't, I won't put up with them. But, um, yeah, it's, it was really kind of a, a, a bothersome situation. And I'm glad tonight that we're not necessarily being, you know, phased out or white noise or, or anything like that. So let me, give you the num- let me give you the number again, 347-308-8995, 347-308-8995. If you'd like to talk with Alexis, uh, please give me a call, and uh, we'll put you on the air, and we'll be able to answer your questions. So part of what I was looking at with your chart is that you've got, uh, you've got a fair amount of Libra on your chart. So you've got your moon in Libra. You have Venus and Libra, which is all about balance. You know, Venus and, Libra, Venus and Libra is a Venus is the planet of relationship. Libra is the sign of balance and relationship. Moon are emotions, and Venus. I'm sorry. Again, Libra is relationships and balance. So with those two planets and those two signs in your chart, what this is what I put on my website today. What you're really doing, I think, in a very artful way, is balancing the male and the female energies. I mean, that's. You know, when I, when I really looked at your chart and kind of an overall sort of picture, what I came away with was, was that you're a sexual healer. I mean, that's really what you do. And you do it through a lot of different um, uh, sort of facets and methodologies. But, but, the, but the Libra part to me was very prominent because it's really, it's really this balancing of the male and the female piece. Where, where do you sit with that? And, I mean, how do you go back and forth between – Sort of male power, penis power, and vagina power, female power. How do you how do you hold that center in your life and in your in your practice? I, mean, I, I just intuitively do it. Um, I just I deliver the information the way it's given to me. So it's my job. It's like you know, if I'm told, okay, this is what you have to speak about. This is what you have to teach for the men and for the women, and show how they blend together. That's the beauty of it. And even for male male relationships, woman woman relationships, I have to show that still spiritual sexual energy and how it blends together. Yeah, that's great. 
So how do you feel about homosexuality? I mean, obviously you had a same-sex relationship when you were younger. Do you feel like it's, uh, it's cool and people, two people are loving or having an ecstatic sexual experience? Or do you feel like that they need to be just as balanced and conscious as aware as people of different sexes? They do, because I have a lot of fans that are gay and lesbians or bisexual, and they get hurt a lot. A lot of men hurt other men, and a lot of them are just geared, um, driven by sex, and a lot of gay men are lonely and want serious relationships, and a lot of the men they meet don't want to be serious. They want to play, and they want to meet people on the Internet and have group sex and uh, a lot of the parties where they're spreading HIV really uh, rapidly and not feeling accountable to tell their partners. So uh, this is when you deal with the consciousness of HIV or any other virus, you're basically um, dealing with electromagnetic frequencies and vibrations. So when the vibration where there's a tear in the chakra and in the auric field because there is a dis-ease process in the mind or self-hatred, then the vibration lowers and it opens you up to match the frequency of a virus. So a lot of gay men that are in these relationships have issues with self-love and self-respect. So once they balance themselves out and it's a part of their karmic agreement to uh, reincarnate in that life or to reincarnate and become a transsexual, you know, uh, a transgendered person, or a transvestite or a gay person, it's like all of these things that we experience or be bisexual is a part of our karmic agreement to learn the lessons that we need to learn to illuminate on our journey. The only thing I don't like is when people lie to each other and infect people and hurt them. Right. Well, being truthful is a part and parcel of your sun sign, Sagittarius. And uh, you, your birthday, you share a pretty cool birthday with... Uh, Jimi Hendrix and uh, Bruce Lee, you know that, right? Of course. And then, and then there's Robin Givens. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I uh, interviewed James Toback, who was the director of, of Tyson. We talked a great deal about Mike Tyson, who I think is yeah. kind of a tragic figure in our culture on many levels. Um, I'd, I'd love to know what your your opinion of, of Mike Tyson and from from a, a, a cultural perspective and also from a spiritual perspective. What do you think of him and what happened to him and and where do you think where do you think he's at right now? See, I haven't kept up with everything, but somebody told me he was on Oprah if it was not Oprah earlier this year it was last year and he was talking about the death of his daughter and that he admitted that he did beat uh Robin Gibbons and he did rape women and was very abusive and brutal to women. But a lot of times it's like we we have a, a beast at a feast. You know, you have a, a black man that has been brutalized himself and, and caged. So there's a lot of rage and anger in him from society and his experiences or a lack of experiences of a mother and a father. So already has a, a very cold and damaged heart and has an issue with women and society or sometimes feeling overpowered by society and, and, and racism or any other block that he feels are impeding him from being a full man and manifesting his destiny. So what is the easiest thing to do? Many black men will beat up on and, and uh, overpower a black woman because he cannot overpower a white man. and He cannot control his condition or his circumstances. He cannot determine his own fate. Wow. So many the black woman is the victim because she tries to shield her man or she looks to him for support and comfort and love not knowing that he does not know himself. So there's no way that he can shield and value you, so you have to pull back and learn who you are and realize that you're really the, the generator for a lot of the things that you see, that you like, and that you don't like. And we have to uh, pick men that are not suffering from that sickness, that mental illness of self-hatred and um, menticide. So it looks like on so many levels he didn't know himself. and He was struggling with trying to find himself and fight his own demons. That's the most powerful and vicious enemy that you would ever have to overcome, and that's your own mind. 